<clears throat> Whoo! Whoo! <laughs> oh boy. What's going on, y'all? Mm. Forget my ratchet, but I'm thirsty. I did a little workout tonight. Um, starting to get into doing like a, a bit of a workout every day, trying to fit in something small, uh, and then kind of build upon it. But so that's why I'm a little out of it right now. I think I'll pick myself back up once I start getting into the topic at handy. Before I get into the topic at hand, um, I want to thank you guys um, for the positive response that I got on my last video um, entitled "Dear Diary," where I was kind of um, open and was, uh, showed vulnerability to you guys. And I really, you know, found, you know, a lot of therapeutic, uh, help from doing that. And a lot of you guys sent me messages. The comments were great. And some of you tweeted me and I really, really appreciate all the love and the feedback. And, um, I know that I'm not alone in feeling the way that I did. Uh, well still do, but you know, it is what it is. But I just want to take that time to thank you guys so much for your positive response and allowing me to, you know, come and do that and be, uh, open for, you know, that short period of time, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed and connected with the video. Now, onward to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> so, here we are, episode, I don't even know, seven? I think we're at episode seven. Episode seven of Bad Girls Club Miami season 11, The Bully Guard, okay, that's the name of this episode. It, this episode was still bad, I have to say, but due to a new face in the house, it's kind of shook things up in a much needed way, because <laughs> child, I was so over these bitches, I'm still over these bitches, but at least I have something new to talk about. <laughs> so anyway, this episode starts off with the new bitch, Miss uh, Andrea. You know, she comes in the limo and things, and every you know gives her whole spiel about, "Don't fuck with me. I'm from this place. I do these things." You know, every typical bad girl script about when they first enter the house. Mm. So she first gets there. I'm gonna be doing that throughout the video, just y'all, because I'm par parched. Is that thirsty or is that hungry? Parched. I'll go with parched. So, yeah, I'm that. And, um, so Andrea gets into the house, right? So, she enters the house. She's, like, fucking ten feet tall, first of all. Um, <laughs> super platinum blonde country from Wichita, Kansas. Girl, bye. But, yeah, from Kansas. And, you know, she walks in, you know... And uh, the girls aren't there yet, so she you knows she's walking around like, hello, hello, this, that, and the four. So she's like, Psh, pour me a drink. You know, that's like every bad girl that comes, every replacement that comes to the house, and there's nobody there. The first thing they do is pour themselves a drink. So when the girls finally do show their asses up, um, she gets there, and uh, I think, who was it? Was it Shanae? Shanae was the first person, I believe, who actually greeted and was like, hey, how you doing? You know, my name's Shanae, da 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 and Andrea goes to Stephanie and, you know, she's trying to introduce herself and all this other things. And then Stephanie's like, you know, I can't remember what it was Stephanie said. Stephanie pretty much just kind of paid her dust. She was like, you know, we just got here. Give us a second to settle in. You know, I ain't really trying to meet with nobody. I'm like, really? It don't take nothing to just greet somebody say, hi, how you doing? My name is such and such. You know, let me go uh, put my stuff away and then we can chit chat. It, it would have took no effort to do that, Stephanie. I don't Stephanie made it appear in made it appear in the beginning of the uh the season that she was gonna be like one of the realest bitches but child Stephanie just is the follow one of the following hoes. She just be catching the attitude because everybody else has an attitude and she ain't really have no real reason herself personally to be mad at anything. I still just don't understand. But anyway, the girls called another one of these damn house meetings, right? And I don't understand the purpose. I really don't... I, I can't fathom why they feel that 
just because there's a house meeting where a majority of a group feels that they don't want another person of the group to be here anymore, that suddenly the producers are just going to be like, well, that's it, you gotta go, because the other bitches don't like you. The shit don't work like that. It didn't work with Sarah. Sarah didn't get, y'all didn't put her out because of a goddamn house meeting. Sarah got put out for whooping Mylan's ass. So, and, well, Gigi's fight, whatever. She got, she got set on because of that, not because you bitches said so. So I don't know what the whole purpose of this whole uh, house meeting shit is. And honestly, at this point, I'm over the whole bullying Janelle shit because none of you have any reason to bully her. Like, for real, for real. You, you were annoyed with her. Okay, I understand being annoyed because I could feel, I could, you know, definitely feel a sense of annoyance from Janelle, you know, her personality, but it's not as bad as y'all trying to make it out. Like, it, the girl called you broke bitches, which some of you are. They're acting like it anyway. That's 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 what you portray is the only thing that I know, bitch. How am I supposed to assume anything else? And your flip-flopping following hoes, Teresa, who was just kicking it with the bitch, and then the next minute she makes a comment that wasn't even geared towards your ass, and now you want to have an opinion and child you're not missed um and the juice shit which i'm not i don't see how she's obligated to share her shit no matter how much it costs it's her shit whether she wants to share it or not is up to her and other than that she's just you know she's bougie but i mean okay there's no reason for you to bully the bitch but either way you go so they had this house meeting, and everybody's talking about, oh, we don't want you here. We're just going to let you know that you're going to be going home. You're going to make it to the end. Blah, 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 and blah. Okay. Because um, <laughs> that's the dumbest shit. Like, and Janelle, that I was Janelle in the whole sitting. She's sitting up there like. So they told her that she's not going to go home. She's just like, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because, bitch, why am I here? What? What? I could be doing something else while you bitches are sitting here wasting my fucking time. You know, so, and she says that the more they try to take her, make her go home, is the more determined she is to stay. So, good luck with that, y'all. But anyway, so, after the little house meeting, Andrea comes uh, to Janelle when, she, uh, after, when she's on the phone, and she's like, I don't know why they're such a bitch to you, you know. I don't, you know, she's this pro, this anti-bully thing. She's kind of like Shannon from season 10, if y'all remember. Um, well, she's like, well, you know, why don't you and I, you know, just go out and just fuck these other bitches? It can be Black Barbie and White Barbie, right? So, they go out to who knows where the fuck. And, um, <laughs> Andrea really... <laughs> Andrea fit the stereotype of the white girl who can't dance. The white blonde girl who cannot dance. She fit that stereotype to a T in this scene. She was just flailing everywhere, showing her cooter everywhere, gyrating. And it and Janelle was just sitting up there looking like... <laughs> like, what is this bitch doing? Like, she's a little, you know, cuckoo. But, you know, at the same time, I'm going to give her a chance because, shit, it ain't like any other bitch is trying to give me the time of day, so I might as well, you know, vibe with her just the hell, for the hell of it, you know? And they in the car, and, you know, of course, Janelle's, you know, talking about how the bullies and blah, 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 blah. And Janelle's like, you know, well, Andrea's like, you know, I ain't with that shit, so I automatically go into protective mode. So, you know, I'll be your friend if nobody else will be your friend. So they kind of got this little, you know, what do they call it? Alliance thing going. So, when they get back to the house, you know, everybody else is just trying to get, you know, their own feel for Andrea. And, Andrea, girl, this story you gave about in Kansas with fences, lions, tigers, and bears, and you shooting the mountain lion and eating it for dinner. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, bitch? What? What? <laughs> you ate the mountain lion, girl? 
Okay. Shit, if you say so, but I was like, I did kind of agree. Who who's the fuck that said that? I think it was uh Stephanie. She was like, This bitch is weird. <laughs> she is weird, but you know what? She's uh just by her and her story was more entertaining than the first six episodes of this season, so you know. There's that. It's ten o'clock. Fucking computer. Always trying to get... You know what? I'm going to start... This is what I'm going to start doing, y'all. I'm going to start looking at this time, and I'm going to pay attention to it, and I'm going to wait until it says that shit. I'm going to wait for it, and then just edit that shit out, because I never see it coming. Never. <laughs> Anyways, what the fuck What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, Andrea and her crazy ass story, but yeah, Andrea alone in just the, the 10 seconds that she's been in the house has been more entertaining than half the bitches who were original, so, you know, there's that. But anyways, next scene, we get to Shanae and this phone call with Jordan. And, who was that? Tiana, T what, girl, I forgot to say this bitch's name. Tiana? Yeah, her. She pretty much clocked the T immediately and was like, you know, Jordan is probably a bad girl groupie. Uh, just trying to get his 15 seconds of camera time and she ain't feeling him. Now, that could be true. But then again, it's kind of hard to take it coming from Tiana because Tiana could just be bitter that Shanae is getting attention and she probably wanted to move from Gigi's pussy to Shanae's uh, pussy and she may just be mad that somebody else is getting to it before she did. And that could be that. Or she could be right. And, well... It's probably a combination of both, I'd say, like that. So, uh, Shanae's, you know, talking to Jordan. She's like, oh, he's cute, and he's this, he's that. He's from Love Game Season 3. He sends flowers and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, they say they're going to come over, and they're going to hang out, and all this other bullshit. So, we can move on past that. Andrea wants to start shit in the house off motherfucking jump. How does she want to start shit in the motherfucking house? Andrea comes up with a very clever idea that apparently worked flawlessly because none of these bitches caught on. Or at least they haven't yet. Not in this episode. Andrea says, let's take dirt. And we're going to put said dirt into the makeup brushes and just the general makeup of these girls. And so when they apply their makeup, they'll be applying dirt to their face. And they're going to be wondering why the fuck they're breaking out. And they're just going to make themselves even uglier and less attractive than they already are. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm stupid, y'all. I'm glad to be back because I hadn't been, I hadn't made a video since, you know, Dear Diary. And, uh, I'm just glad to be back on the video again with y'all. So... After Andrea and Janelle, who was in on this, puts the dirt in their makeup, you know, they tee hee ha ha, you know, I just pulled a prank, which is a good one. I'll give them, I'll give them a thumbs up for that. You know, I, I approve that message. Um, the other girls decide at the same time they want to pull their own prank. And whose idea was this? Was G Gigi? Gigi, you wanted to make this elaborate plan and your idea of a good plan or a good prank is to put plants in front of the door and be like, when they get up and they have to pee in the middle of the night, what are they going to do? Pee in the tree? What are they going to do? Ha 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 ha. Really? That was your idea of a prank is to put plants, five pound plants, in front of a door. Like, their shit's way two tons. Like, and Andreas took the words out of my fucking mouth. Like, really? This is y'all idea of a prank? This is lame as fuck. It, it's five of y'all. Five heads couldn't come together to come up with something better than fucking plants in front of the door. Talking about welcome to the fucking jungle? Who the real? Who are the real basic bitches in this house? Is all I'm asking. Who 
<laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That was that was what? And she was just cackling like it was just the most brilliant shit. Mm. That's good. Anyway, so the girls start putting on their makeup, and they putting dirt on their face, and then Janelle and Andrea just cackling to themselves. I would be too, because I would just be sitting there getting my life like, mm hmm. Yeah, make sure you pack it on, bitches. Make sure you pack that shit on. Beat your face. Yes, yes, God. <laughs> anyway, so. That was a perfectly and flawlessly executed plan, Andrea and Janelle. Congratulations to y'all, boo, because I don't like them hoes. Um, Janelle and Andrea go bowling. You know, they're out having a good time and such. Um, what is it? Jasmine, Shanae, and Tiara go out because who is Stephanie and Gigi didn't want to go. Some, some bullshit. So while they're out, Shanae meets up with Jordan, and they start talking, and he starts saying all this nice shit, like, oh, you know, I like you, this, that, and forth, you know, and she's like, I never, ain't nobody ever sent me flowers before, this, that, and forth, and, you know, they start kissing, and Tiana's over there looking salty as fuck, and she's, you know, again, about the whole, I think that, uh, he's only here for his 15 minutes of fame and whatnot, and at this point, that's probably true. I believe that too. I believe there's some truth to that. And um but Shanae is so over enraptured in the somebody finally showing her ass attention that she I'm sure she doesn't too much give a fuck. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. Get your life just Shanae, I guess. Jordan really ooh, excuse me. Jordan didn't really register on my, you know, cute Get well, and it's not the radar, but you know, you didn't really register on my radar as being somebody I want to take a second look at, you know. But it is what it is. Um, while well, at the bowling alley, this is where I kind of get afraid of Andrea because the bitch is nuts. <laughs> this bitch is crazy. She is yelling. She is screaming in this high pitch about how she hits bullying. She was like, I'm really sweet, but I'm such a nasty person. What? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at her like, bitch. Mm. This bitch was just, she was everywhere. She was screaming. But, and Janelle, pretty much in the most most part, was just like, you know what? This bitch is batshit crazy, and I'm not trying to get killed and murdered in the middle of the night because of getting on her bad side. So I'm just going to smile and keep it cute and just try to keep her on my side because clearly some this bitch has a screw loose, and I don't want her to go off on my ass. So... When they get back to the house, um, Andrea's still drunk, and <laughs> she goes up to, who was it, Gigi. She starts talking to Gigi, like, could you talk to, you know, Janelle, make y'all, you know, maybe make amends, and Gigi's like, oh, you want me to make friends? You want me to be nice and do this and do that? She was like, you know, no, maybe you could just do da 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 or whatever. And here comes Stephanie talking about, you don't know the real story. You don't know what's been going on. You're new here. da 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 <clears throat> Stephanie, you shut the fuck up. Because you don't even know what the fuck. Nobody even, we forgot you were even on this season half the time, bitch. So you, as far as the viewers are concerned, you weren't here either. And what story? What is this reason that you... What is this reason that you guys have that you don't like Janelle? What did she do to y'all? In all seriousness, what did she really do to you that deserves her to be bullied? Did she sleep with your man? Did she flip over your mattress? Did she pull pranks on you? I, I, I don't get it. I mean, if you don't favor her for how, you know, the bougie okay, that's fine, but you don't have to just go out of your way to be mean to the bitch just because you think it's cool. Like, 
It's just whack. But there's no story. Stephanie, I'm tired of Stephanie trying to boss up and pop off like she about some some type of life that's clearly she's not. And Andre didn't take too well to that. And uh Gigi was Gigi was going on about how her how she was telling Andrea, I believe, how uh she was getting back at Janelle for hitting her from the back. First of all, Gigi, you initi you asked for that, okay? You instigated and um Pride at this girl all night, all that same night. Says she couldn't do this, she couldn't do that. And why are you here, bitch? This, that, and the four. Then you come at her with that ugly ass hat on, and you sitting here punching and talking all in her face and shit. And then your ass made the mistake of turning the fuck around about somebody that you just cussed out. You should never turn your back if you're trying to pop off against somebody. So you pretty much asked for that. And for you to say it was just you when four other bitches jumped in into the same fight, and you try to say that you did it by yourself. Why do you think Teresa isn't here? Oh, okay. So, I thought Gigi was going to be cool. Gigi's... Pump is just like the rest of them. I don't know... I don't know why they're pulling at the bottom of the barrel for this season. But I'm going to need y'all to work this out for season 12. Because season 11 is shaping out to be... Um, a pretty good sequel. It's it's still not as bad as season eight was. Nothing could, nothing yet has trounced season eight. Season eight was awful, but you know, we won't get into that. Um, so Andrea goes back to doing her pranks. Andrea goes back to you know she's like, well, since these bitches aren't gonna, if these bitches are gonna still gonna be bullies. You know, we're just gonna keep on playing this prank game. So she puts hot sauce in what I guess was orange juice. But it looked like a milk carton. It didn't really look have like the colors of orange juice. Usually orange juice is like green, yellow, or something. But it was like a dark blue. And it makes me think of milk. But they said it was orange juice, so whatever. So she puts it in the orange juice. And um, <laughs> this is where... This is one of the reasons why I fuck with Andrea. Because, you know, Jasmine they punk ass. Always trying to run up on somebody. Uh... <laughs> She went up to, uh, Jess one day went up to, uh, Andrea and was like, did you put, did you put hot sauce in the juice? Andrea was like, yep. And just kept on, <laughs> and just kept it moving, bitch. I was like, yes, Andrea, pay that bitch dust because Jess one day ain't nobody's threat. <laughs> like, did y'all see that fight between her and Sarah? Child, flaying like a fucking rag doll. I would, man, anyway. Um, what the fuck happened? So, after, what, what, did, what happened? Did the bitches leave? Yes, that's what happened. Uh, Andrea and Jasmine, they left, not Jasmine, girl. <laughs> Janelle and Andrea left the house and, you know, for a second, because they felt like they were going to get jumped and this, that, and forth. So while they leave, well, they go out to eat. So while they're leaving, while they're gone, Jasmine and all the other punk bitches, oh, wait, let me make this point before I say that. So after they put the uh, the hot sauce and the, the juice right, Jazz Monet made a comment saying, oh, you're going to put hot sauce in the juice? That's so childish. That's so this. That's so that. Yet, when Janelle and Andrea leave, you fuck with all her shit. You spit in her lotion bag. At least it's what it looked like. It was just a plastic bag with lotion in it. You spit in that. You spray tomato sauce around her mattress. Oh, excuse me. And... You just, you just sprayed random shit on her on her mattress, and you're calling her childish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aren't you the big person in the situation? So these punk bitches. So when uh, Andrea and Janelle come back, all these hoes, Stephanie. Tiana, Gigi, Shanae. I mean, who am I missing? Girl, who am I missing? Child, whoever it is, is irrelevant. Oh, who the fuck did I... Tiana, Gigi, Shanae, Steph. Who the fuck am I missing? 
girl, who I, y'all, y'all let me know, cause ooh, girl, whoever that is must not really must not be relevant, because I can't call their name for nothing. But they're all waiting in the goddamn living room, uh, with their head scars, their hair pulled back, their earrings out, like they just ready to jump. They are ready to pounce on Andrea as soon as she comes in. Or actually, no, no, so no, they weren't. What they were expecting was Andrea to come in, see her mattress, pop off, they all jump her, and then she leaves the house. That was their plan. However, Andrea paid them dust and went to sleep. <laughs> she paid them dust and went to sleep. She was like, you know what, fuck this. I ain't anybody got time for that. So she climbed in the bed with Janelle. And Gigi, who I think it was, did a motherfucking last ditch effort and tried to do a champagne shower and throw wine or whatever the fuck it is at them and walked out and then Stephanie and Jasmine they was all like you know they some punk bitches why didn't they pop off I'm like bitch y'all who are the who are the real punk bitches like for real for real y'all sitting here throwing food and shit <laughs> and spread like okay granted she did the little thing with the hot sauce and the milk but all that did was just affect the milk you sitting here destroying people's shit Who's who's really the punk bitch here in this situation? Because maybe it might just be me, but my definition of a punk bitch is somebody who ain't going to come to you on some real adult shit, some real mature shit. These bitches acting like fucking little girls. Uh, trying to scare them. I don't know what it was they did. Did they run out? Did they run and slap on, bang on the window while they were asleep? Some crazy shit. I'm just like, why are y'all acting like y'all five? Like, for real. I... But they was ready to jump, and they was mad about it that they couldn't participate in a jumper hole situation like they did with uh, with Janelle the first time with Tiara, and then they, so they mad about it, trying to call the bitches fake and other other dumb shit. Y'all know what they do. So Jasmine a gets on the telephone and starts talking to the flip flop, the flip flop follower hoe known as Ter Teresa. I don't know what I'm about to call her just now, and she's talking about uh, Jazz is talking about in the confessional. Was that Jazz or was that Tiara? That was T.R. T.R. was talking about um, she made a promise to Teresa that she's going to get Janelle out the house, which still makes no sense. I don't. I still can't fathom as to why Teresa felt the need to jump into that motherfucking fight. There was none. But, you know, I, they talking about, well, Jazz was on the phone talking to Teresa about how she's going to get Janelle out the house, how it's her mission, and this, that, and the fourth. Jasmine, do y'all have nothing better to do than talk about this bitch that y'all claim to not like? Y'all, that's all that y'all do. Five of y'all. Whoever that fifth person is that I couldn't fucking call to save my life, that person and the rest of y'all, that's all y'all talk about is Shanae. Well, not Shanae, girl. All y'all talk about is Janelle, and um, now all y'all talking about is Janae and Andrea. So they're the hot topics of, you know, the house. So I say that they win it. You know, I'd say that they win it. But, you know, it is what it is. So the girls go on this yacht. And I don't know if it's just me. It might just be me. I, when I think of a yacht, I think of something bigger than what the fuck that was that Joey pulled up in. That looked like a, who was it? That was Ashley that said it looked like a fucking tugboat. I said, get your life, bitch. That was exactly what the fuck I was thinking. I couldn't find the words for it, but it was definitely not no damn yacht. At least not from what I thought a yacht to be, but it is what it is. So... Shanae gets feels some sort of way because, you know, J Jordan's there and he's filling up all the other girls and she's like, I don't know if he's being genuine with me and this, that, and the fourth. I mean, shit, T Tiara pretty much clocked the tea before you did, so, you know, you should probably should have, I don't know if they talked about it, but, you know, should have took heed or at least had it in the back of your mind. But, you know, he says more sweet nothings to her. That's why you can kind of tell that Shanae was never one to really have attention because she just felt like, right back into the trap, sort of. But, you know, at least she was like, you know, well, maybe I was keeping the friend stage because he's kind of showing me that he's inconsistent and things like that. So I was like, well, girl, a little, a little too late, but, you know, better than never. And so the episode ends with Janelle and uh, Jazz Monet talking to... Sh J the episode ends <laughs> with... Janelle in a conversation with Tiana and Jasmine who are trying to tell her just how sure they are that she, she's not going to make it to the end and how they're going to get her out of this house. 
what re, answer me this, y'all? Answer me this. How do you get a girl out of the house for a bad girls club? The only way that the bitch is leaving is if she herself, one of two ways, from what I've known, she leaves on her own or she fights. Now, I don't know. I think they're probably just planning to bully her until she wants to go home. Or they want to try to get her in where she lands the first punch. And I believe, like, Janelle is pretty much smart by this point. She's not going to, you know, put herself in the position to leave on either one of those accounts. So, I'm, I don't know why the fuck Tiana and the rest of the bitch gang, the wolf gang as they're calling themselves, are so bit on getting this bitch out the house when she really did nothing too much to you. Like, you want her out because she thinks with her own fucking mind. She's not following around the rest of y'all and kissing y'all ass like uh, Gigi and Sinead did. Let's just call a spade a motherfucking spade. Those those hoes came in, saw which side was the strongest, and they followed it just because it was where the rest of the crowd was going. And we're just going to leave it at that. But anyways, that's the review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like. Um, yeah. <laughs> so glad to be back on... Oh, this is what I want to talk about. I knew there was something I wanted to mention before this video is over because I know this video is like 30 minutes long. So, I'm giving y'all a long video as a treat. But, what I want to announce to you guys is um, if you haven't already know, if you're not subscribed to uh, AK Nation TV or follow him or I on, I was about to say YouTube, Twitter, on Halloween, since this is now officially October, October 31st, I will be um, flying up to New York City Okay, I'm gonna be um I'm going there to visit Wesley or uh from A Connection TV and I'm gonna go to his party, his Halloween with Mona party. Okay. As you know, or you may not know Wesley is um <laughs> hosting parties at Langston's in Brooklyn, New York every Thursday, Thirsty Thursdays. And Halloween, as you know, happens to fall on a Thursday this year, so he's gonna throw a big Halloween party where he's gonna come out and party as Mona Simone. Okay, I don't know if y'all understand. This is the first time Mona Simone will have left the house. Okay, it's she's just been confined to YouTube, y'all. So she's gonna be, you know, hosting the party, and a lot of other bloggers and YouTube um, YouTubers are gonna be there. Uh, of course, you know, Akinasha TV and Mona Mona Simone's gonna be there. You know, one of the biggest BGC reviewers on YouTube. Um. Ashley Miller, who is another really good friend of mine who's uh, um, YouTube on here, she's trying to come up, so hopefully she can come up. Uh, Miss Tamika, uh, 1003. Uh, Alonzo Larone, if you guys are familiar with his channel, he's trying to come up. Um, the Scorpion from The Scorpion Show is coming. And if you're coming, you know, you get to meet all of those and you get to meet me. <laughs> I would love to get to see, you know, my subscribers and get to see your faces and get to know you on a more personal level. As opposed to, you know, just through the internet. Because, you know, it's better. Stronger. So, if you guys can come out to the um, to the party, that's um, October 31st. It's Thursday in um, Brooklyn, New York. The club is called Langston's. You know, come out there and party with us. There's going to be drinks. There's going to be strippers. There's going to be craziness. Because if y'all go, if y'all go and look on uh, Wesley's channel, Wesley and I um, went to Inferno DR last year. And I got drunk. If y'all want to see what I look like or how I am when I'm drunk, go search on his channel for the Waterline Cruise. Y'all going to see some interesting shit. That's a whole different side of me that even I was shocked. I've never seen myself drunk, y'all. Once, once I saw that video, I was just like, oh my god. But anyway, this video has gone on long enough and I can ramble on here for who knows how the fuck long. But I wanted to make sure I give you guys you know, a nice long you know, video for supporting my Dear Diary video. Hopefully there'll be a part, uh, a new part, you know, whenever I uh, decide to make that. And also, I'm in the works of putting together my uh, All I Want to Know is Why Volume 3. <laughs> um, I know you guys really like that series. But yeah, I'm going to let this video stop. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.